Welcome to Journals of the Classes! In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Bard. Ooh, alright. Oh god, are we, are we relating in Bard? Oh. Hmm. Bards are mages, come on. But, but they channel their magic through art... They might sing, dance, or paint, but all of these channel primordial creation magic. Being masters of their craft and of charisma, bards are often seen as promiscuous and overly sexual. So I'm a bard. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but I'm a bard. All right. I just, so? don't I just don't talk about my past like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So let's get right into it. Our first subclass is creation. These bards channel the stories of creation and mythology to power their magic. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Dove? Oh, oh. oh. <clears throat> <laughs> Next with eloquence. So of course I would do this. Because I'm very eloquent. Actually, I don't know if I'm open or not. These <laughs> bards are essentially stereotypes. Oh, I'm a stereotype. Uh, there are masters. Stereotype. They are masters of manipulation and pride themselves on their charisma and charm. I'm seeing a trend. They are often diplomats, spies, or just strangely captivating. Mm. Strangely captivating. Am I strangely captivating? <laughs> sure. <laughs> You be who you want to be. <laughs> I'm just going to be me. Strange to captivate. <laughs> Glamour! Lots of pink! These bards are all about delight and captivation with performances or art pieces that cause even the hardiest of souls to crack a smile. Come on, Bardy, let's go party! <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Uh, lore. Not love. Lore. lore. <laughs> like Data's brother. Lore. 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 Uh, these bards belong in a museum. Seriously, they belong in a yeah, museum. Yeah, like, seriously, they're, they're all really old. It's weird. They are lovers of history and see it as their mission to keep alive the stories of the past in fear that those living today may repeat those mistakes. Mm. So basically, a lore bard created Princess Bride I'm convinced. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spirits. While many bards are debaucherous, these bards aren't all about alcohol. They are instead lovers of the occult. Okay. And channel the power of angels and demons to act as muses or make their hymns sound just a little bit more legit. <laughs> You think they learn Latin from the demons to make their hymns sound better? Right. Swords, or as I like to say, swords. Swords. The fencers, duelists, and musketeers of the multiverse. These bards can use their swords like a musician plays a lute. They're charming, cunning, dangerous. And have nugget in the center. Ooh, I love nugget. <laughs> I was also thinking, is swords a euphemism? Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought of it. Oh my god. Okay, let's move on before I start going tangent. I would be surprised. <laughs> Valor. These scalds are tellers of grand tales and myths about long forgotten heroes and great battles with evil forces. They are the ones who keep alive the memory of those who accomplished great deeds and felled the mightiest of beasts. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> whispers. whispers. I'm not gonna whisper during this whole thing, but it's called whispers. <laughs> That's creepy. All right, these frighteningly charming, dastardly calculating bards will happily play for hours in your court. But they will also take the news of your sister's affair back to their employer for a little health hefty sum. Ooh. And a little giggle at your expense. Oh, I can't believe that the Baron is sleeping with 
the Baroness. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the like lamest <laughs> if he's just sleeping with his wife. <laughs> She's literally sleeping with his wife. We've all watched way too many fantasy shows to know that never happens. What if it's another Baroness? <laughs> another Baroness. Well, I mean, if he's gonna sleep with somebody besides his wife, shouldn't he sleep up? Or down. I guess. He could be a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he's not sleeping with another baroness. He's sleeping with a baron. He's sleeping with another okay. baron. Oh. We need to stop. <laughs> we need to stop. Because if we don't, we're going to get in real trouble. We are going to get in real trouble. There is no bottom to this. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> no, no, okay, nope, nope, we're gonna stop there. Anyway, I've been Shadu. I've been Frank! <laughs> join us <laughs> next time on Journals of the Classes and or Classified. We will see you later. Goodbye. Bye.